Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to do Oculus Mixed Reality Capture using the Unity XR Interaction Toolkit. So this video is based off of a tutorial by Tony VT, aka Scarred Ghost, and I'll link in his full blog post in the description. So if you need more information, you can check that out. And if you don't know what Mixed Reality Capture is, it's basically this. So it's a technique um, developers can use and it will allow you to show what the user is experiencing inside of the virtual environment. So developers can use this plugin from Oculus and if you've got a green screen and a camera then this is the end result that you can create. So the first thing you'll need is OBS software. Okay, so once you've got that installed on your Quest, you'll want to install the Mixed Reality Capture app. Okay, so install that onto your Quest. And then the final thing you'll need software-wise is the Mixed Reality Capture tools. So go ahead and download that. So once I've got Mixed Reality Capture installed on my desktop, I'm going to launch the Mixed Reality Capture calibration tool on my Quest and I'm going to keep my finger on the sensor so that it stays awake. So I'll just get started here. So Quest 2. So the software here has found the app running on my Quest, so that's good. And then the next step would be to calibrate my camera. Okay. So create new calibration. And I need to choose the correct camera, so I'm using a Logitech Streamcam. And I also know, I looked up earlier, the FOV of my camera, which is 78 degrees. Um, if you don't know this, um, you can tweak it later, but if you know it, then it's best to put it in. Okay, so the next step is to calibrate the camera. So still with my finger on the sensor on the Quest, I'm going to hold up my controller and match it to what's on the screen. Okay, uh, and the other thing to note is that you need for the um, cameras on your Quest to be able to see this controller. So I'm gonna hold it up like this, and you can see it's gone blue. Okay, so I'll put this carefully in the correct um, spot. It's a little bit tricky. So I finished my calibration, and as you can see, it's not absolutely perfect, but I did rush through it a little bit. Um, obviously, you won't need to do this if you're using um, the Swansea VR Lab and the green screen there because it will already be set up. Um, but if you want to try at home with your own green screen, then you'll have to do this step. So I'm going to click Save to Headset. Okay, next step is to generate this OBS scene collection file. Okay, um, so I'll click on that. Uh, call it Oculus. And then I'll save it to my desktop. You can see also that Mixed Reality Capture OBS plugin has not been detected, so I'll install that. There we go. And now I should be good to go. So I'm going to open up OBS next. But now I've got OBS opened. I'm going to import that file we just generated. So import. And then find it on my desktop. Okay, now the scene is installed. I can select it from the scene collection menu, Quest MRC, and we'll come back to OBS later. But now we need to set up our app. Okay, so I've got a basic Unity project here with a normal XR rig from the XR toolkit here, and this is in the URP sample scene. So I'm going to add Mixed Reality Capture to here. So the first thing I'll need is the Oculus integration package, which you can get on the asset store. So click on download here um, and then back in Unity, it will show up in your package manager. And then when you go to download and then import. So when it comes to import the package, um, Oculus integration comes with a lot of features you may not necessarily need. 
So for the mixed reality capture, all we need is the VR folder. So click on that and then click import. So the Oculus integration comes with a mixed reality capture example scene, um, which you can deploy to your device to check everything's working correctly. Um, I'm going to skip that and just try and implement it here. Um, Scarred Ghost has created some helper scripts, which basically allow us to use instead of the Oculus uh, rig, um, it will allow us to easily use the Unity XR rig. Okay, so I have forked that from his uh, repository, which I'll show you now. So here is the repository. Um, I've only made one change, which um, allows it to work with the action-based toolkit which is what we're normally using so if you go to releases you can download this unity package here so i'll quickly download that then in unity i'll go to assets import package downloads mrc xrt helpers and you'll get these uh, scripts here so this is the prefab we'll need to drag into our scene so I found the prefab in this folder here, so I'll just drag it in. If you've got a locomotion system, then you'll need to click on the OVR manager and copy the XR rig into this reference here for the original transform. So I'll put that in there. Okay, now everything should be set up to go. Um, we just need to build the device and then test it. So I've made a build now. Um, I've added the sample scene to build settings, clicked build and run, and it's currently running on my quest. I've got my finger over the sensor again to keep it awake. And now all I need to do is go to OBS, connect to my app, and then record some of the footage. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm back in OBS. Um, I've got a build of my app running on my quest right now. I've got my finger over the sensor again to keep it running. So now I'm going to double click on Oculus MRC here. I'll click connect to MRC enabled game. And now you'll see this little preview here. Okay, so click OK. If I just stop my display capture for a second, um, you should see me and you should see my headset here tracking the um, sphere that I put on the XR rig see my right hand you can see the tracking's a little bit off um, but that's because I kind of rushed through the calibration um, if you see behind me if I point my light at the screen you can see that um, I can see what's inside my app and uh, yeah that's pretty much all there is to it if you're in a proper lab um, you'll get much better results